Hi guys, it's Jacob from the New England Coupon Character, and this is my CVS haul of today, Sunday, January 3rd. This is the first week at CVS of the new 2015. So let's dive right into the deals. The first deal, as you can see, is the Scott and All deal. What I did was I bought one Scott toilet paper at $6.99 and two Scott paper towels at $5.49. I also bought four all detergents at $2.99. So let me show you the breakdown for that. So I bought one at $6.99, two at $5.49, and four at $2.99. My total was $29.93. I had a dollar off one on the toilet paper, which is in this weekend's smart source. I had a dollar off two paper towels and a dollar off one detergent, and I used four of those. I paid twenty three ninety six. I got back ten, so it would be thirteen ninety six. And I was in need of some paper towels, and I thought I would get some all to lower the cost for them. Next up is the finish, one of the best deals this week. So if you buy four of them at four dollars, your total will be sixteen dollars. Use four two dollar off one manufacturer coupons in this weekend's um, inserts as well. I believe the smart source again. We got two smart sources and one red plum this weekend, so obviously pick up a bunch of papers. I did. And there's a 50 cent coupon on the CBS app, so you'll pay $7.50, you'll get back five, two fifty for four, or 63 cents each. And that is a great deal on the finish 20 counts. Next up is the BIC. The BIC are $6.99 and you get a $2 extra buck limit one. I bought two at $6.99 because I had a 4 off 10 shaving CVS coupon. I, there, I also had a buy one get one free manufacturer coupon from this week on Smart Source as well. Um, so depending on what your BOGO coupon takes off, you'll either pay $1.99 or $2.99. The max value is $7.99 and of course I went to my favorite CVS um, and the cashier took $7.99 off which is the max value. So I paid $1.99 and I got back two, making them free. If not, they'll be $0.50 cents a piece, which is still a good deal. Um, so the ones that just have one razor and then the different replacement um, refillable heads, I mean, and they're disposable. Um, this one has actually six cartridges, while these ones only have four. Now, look for the bonus ones because these four packs might have actually five in them. So I got, actually, two bonus packs. Great deal on those. Next up is the Zantac. The Zantac. Um, they're $8.99 this week, and there's an $8.99 mail-in rebate right now on CVS.com. So what I did, I bought two at $8.99, which is $17.98 in total. I used two $4 manufacturer coupons from coupons.com. If you have the no longer available $6 printables from a while back, definitely use those. It'll make this a great deal. I also had a $2 off any $10 like antacids purchase. So you pay $7.98 and you get an $8.99 MIR because I believe they will give you the full amount back because how can they know if you used a coupon on it? Because on the CVS receipts, it has all the coupons come off at the end, not like off each item. So here is the breakdown for that. Take a screenshot if you would like. Okay, I picked up four of these mini lint bags. They are on the 75% off clearance, making them 24 cents each. So, decent deal. I picked a couple up. Physicians formula deal. When you buy two, you'll get a $10 extra buck this week. So, these um, BB lip and cheek beauty bombs are $7.49. Buy two, it'll be $14.98. I have $5 Peely coupons. I talked about those before. I paid $4.98. I got back $10, making it a $5 money maker. Now, the concealer is $0.50 cents more, um, but it's still a money maker. And the only reason I picked this up is because they only had three at this store. And I bought these on different cards because the deal is a limit of one. And that's the same with the BIC. Now, there are some that are actually having a $10 rebate. 
So if you buy one, I think they're like 16 bucks. Use that $5 coupon, and then you'll also get a $10 rebate on top of it. So it might even be a little bit of a better deal, but I don't like to deal with the rebates all the times. Like the Zantac, okay, I'll go for it. But if I don't have to do a rebate, I won't. Next up is the Revlon. We've been getting this Revlon deal for like the past month, but if they still want to give it to us, I'm going to get it. I have cleared out now two stores on these little single eyeshadows. Yeah, me single-handedly. Actually, I think I might have left like one at the store. So if you buy three at $3.59, it'll be $10.77. Use three of the $3 Peely coupons. And as well, if you have a 3 off 9 Revlon coupon, use those as well. I found some, so I used it. Um, you'll get $1.23 in overage, and you'll get a $3 extra buck, making it a $4.23 moneymaker. Um, it also tracks towards Beauty Club, so it'll be like a $5 moneymaker. Even more than that, so even better. Here's another scenario if you buy two at $3.59. Of course, your store may be cheaper. They may be $2.99, so take that into consideration and um, a do apply that to your deal um, however you may. I use three $3 peelies again. I had a $3 CVS coupon on any Revlon product, along with a $2 coupon. My cashier let me use both of those. I had a 4 off 15 Revlon coupon for this transaction. So that takes $18 off. Your total is $15.67. You get $2.33 in overage, and you will get a $4 extra buck. Moneymaker. Can't beat a good moneymaker. Next deal. I bought... Three of these Pantenes. I am still finding some Pantenes on clearance. Make sure you check them out, though, because some of them, it has to be the old packaged ones because they have they get new packaging on a lot of products almost every year. So make sure it is that kind. Now, I bought three at $2.44, and I used a five off of three manufacturer coupon from the P&G. It's $2.26 for three or $0.75 cents each. Not a bad deal, and I believe those might track towards Beauty Club. However, if you still have this 3 off of 3 CVS coupon, it'll make them free. So if you have that coupon from last week and you can still use it, it makes them free. I didn't know I had it. had one left still, so yeah. The Suave, the Suave, the Lux Style Infusion smooth one. Here's what it looks like. A little look at it. They're on clearance for $1.62. There's a $2 coupon in the Unilever Red Plum 1-3, which came out this weekend. Love that Unilever um, insert. Um, and you'll get $0.38 cents in overage. Now, the coupon did beep, but my cashier manually entered it. Oh, I also forgot to mention on the Scott and All deal, I don't know what happened, but my cashier had to force print my ECB. However, because of the 98% rule, this should have worked. Um, but I did like buy one of the detergents in a separate transaction, just because I had a couple extra bucks I could have used. So I did that, and I think that's what might have messed it up. So yeah. I, it said like I had a dollar to spend, so I just bought. So the, I told the cashier, and she was like, okay, and she just manually force printed me an ECB. Next up are the Colgate toothbrushes. They are on sale for $3.49 this week. Oops. Dropping things. So I bought two. It is a limit of two. I had a dollar off tea manufacturer coupon from the Smart Source this weekend. So I paid $6.98 and I got a $4 extra back, making them $0.99 cents each. Now, if we have um, or if we get some maybe... Redbox coupons on some oral care on Monday. Um, you can use that towards this deal, and it'll make it a good deal. The Gold Emblem Abound. I bought one popcorn. It's organic popcorn. I know, healthy living. I bought one of the Deluxe Mixed Nuts. The 17.5 ounce. Those look really good. Sodium free, so pretty healthy. They are unsalted. And I bought six of the nut bars, um, the Gold Emblem nut bars. And these look actually really good. They kind of remind me of like the, they're just like the kind bars. They're around the kind bars in that area. 
um, just look for that section. The cashier said she tried them and they were pretty good. So, yeah, and there are some with chocolate and then there's some just regular cranberry ones. I picked up a few different, uh, ver uh, excuse me, um, varieties. There are only about 200 calories, so a decent snack. So those bars are 99 cents, nuts 7.99, popcorn 1.99. My total was 15.92. I used two $2 coupons. These are all printables. They have reset on cvs.com. I've talked about them before. I used one 2 off 2. So I think I used two $2 coupons on the nuts, one $2 coupon um on the nuts and the popcorn as well. Um no, on the nuts again, on the snack. And then I had a dollar off one on any grocery item, and I used it on the popcorn. Some of these coupons did beep, though. But I had a nice cashier, so she made me enter them. And I had a no longer available $2 off of one um, coupon on the Big Nuts. And I also had a $2 off of 10 on any nut purchase. And these have nuts in them, so I considered them nuts, and they say nut bar, and it said, like, any nut purchase. So I thought it would be okay to use it on these. So essentially you'll pay $4.92. You'll get back five, making it free. The deal does look like it's more than a limit of one, but it is not rolling. Meaning, like, I don't think you can buy like do the deal twice in the same transaction, basically. Um, my two of ten nuts coupon didn't go through though, because I used too many extra bucks. Yeah, I do that sometimes. But it this it all worked out better than I expected anyway, so let's keep moving along. Hand sanitizer, the CBS, oops, the C, I know, cheetah. Um, the CBS hand sanitizer. Let's put it into focus. Hopefully you can see. It's a two-pack, and I like to have some for, like, lunch at school, so I don't have to go to the bathroom. I can just use some hand sanitizer. I know you're supposed to wash your hands, not the same as hand sanitizer, but if you're lazy like me, you won't want to get up. It's 50% off at $1.28. I was hoping Lastly, we have these gift items. They are a part of the 75% clearance. I had someone tell me they weren't, but I did scan them and they are. So watch out for the Wayland Square items. They are tracking towards the 75% off. These ones are normally $9.99, so with the 75% off, they were $2.49 a piece. Great for the gift closet. Awesome. Okay, so my first time around, I spent too long on the receipt, so I'm going to quickly go over them again. Just make this short and sweet. So here's my first transaction. I'm not going to explain everything. I used a ton of coupons, and I paid $2.78 out of pocket with tax. And I got back. A $2 extra buck, $10 extra buck, $4 extra buck, that is six, $16. I only went in with 11 so I made $5 in this transaction, but I did pay $2 out of pocket, so it was essentially a $3 money maker for that one. And then here's the second one. This was probably my largest transaction. All of my coupons paid nothing out of pocket. As you can see, my nut coupon did not come off. Neither did all the shaving one. So essentially, that's $5. $5 I could have used or saved. I could have bought like one or two more of those and gotten them for free. So definitely my mistake on that one. Should have bought some more items. And then here's the next one quickly. The last one. Paid $0.43 cents out of pocket. And I did get a force print $10 extra buck. Now, I did not do the boost deal. It's spend 25, get 10, and there's the scenario screenshot if you would like. I did not get the coupon in my papers for some reason. I looked and looked and looked. Unless, I'm just stupid and didn't see them. Okay, so all in all for everything, I paid 300, no, <laughs> I did not pay that. All in all, I saved $305.44 out of pocket. I spent $3.21, meaning a combined of $308.65 for everything was the retail. I paid $3.21. Essentially, that's like a 99% savings. So, awesome, guys. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. The New England Coupon Character. Bye-bye.